probably wondering what that noise is and that amazing smell is. Well, I'll tell you. Today's show, Wood Cookies. Today we're looking at a log that I cut two months ago that was extremely wet. And today we're gonna to look at a bunch of products that I had in my shop to see if I could prevent it from cracking and checking. I'm gonna go ahead and first start off with this very first one. I did absolutely nothing to it. It'll be our control. And here we've got some checking going on. So overall, it's probably best if we do something. I think over time, this one will probably go ahead and crack. Next, we've got one called Shine Juice. That's a mixture of shellac and some alcohol. And we've got quite a bit of uh, cracking and checking going on here. So uh, obviously not another good one to uh, try to prevent that from. Next, we've got Rust-Oleum Lacquer. And I used a thicker piece here of this oak. And as you can see, I've got quite a bit of checking going on. So obviously lacquer is not a very good one of protecting and sealing this. Next, I've got the exact same lacquer, but this time I microwaved it and I did four 30 second uh, intervals and it really got it steaming and bubbling. And then uh, I sealed it with lacquer. And again, I don't think that lacquer was probably the best option seeing than what it did there. But being that we microwaved it, it really did drain out a lot of the water. And I don't see a lot of cracking and checking, just a little bit. So a microwave option, if you have that, I wouldn't use your indoor one. But if you had an old junky one, um, that does help speed up the process of drying it. Next, I have a Minwex poly shade, and this is just a stain. And uh, clearly we see here that we've got quite a big crack. So obviously this isn't the best kind of... Uh, preventative either a little bit of checking there so we'll move on here to a polyurethane this is by minwax and we've also got some cracks a little bit of checking going on and here's a large crack so obviously this one as well is not one to recommend move this out of the way we do have a verithane premium wood stain i got this at menards i do like this stain it's a uh, kona is the color it's a very nice one Problem is, is on this wood, it's so dark, it covered up all the beautiful grain. There is just two little pieces of checking going on here, if you can see that. But uh, remarkably, I don't see any other cracks or checking, so it actually does work pretty good, but uh, you can't see the wood grain, so I give that a uh, not very good score. Next, I had the idea of a rubber cement, and I coated this one really well but still we got some crazy cracks and checking going on. So obviously not a good one, but I did think that uh, it would seal it up a lot better than that than it did. Next we have a paste finishing wax and being that the word waxes was, was in there, I was really thinking that I was gonna get a good product here, but as you can see, I've got quite a, quite a few cracks in it. I've even got some checking up here at the top. So again, not a very good product in regards to trying to seal some wood. Now the very last one here is actually mineral oil and beeswax mixed together. And uh, this does a really, really good job so well that we have zero cracks and zero checking. This was really impressive. And this led me on to my next testing. So let's go ahead and take a look at the next things that I tested. Now again, this is two months out. And uh, now I've got some that are one month out. Let's take a look at those now. All right, so here they are. This is all from one log and this is oak again. And uh, this is one month old. And we'll go ahead and take a look at the test here of what I've done. Now I went back and I tried the mineral oil and beeswax. It just becomes a, uh, almost like a chapstick is the, the consistency of it. And I wiped it on here on this test. And uh, again, looks really good, no cracks or checks. And uh, wipes on really easily. This one I heated up in my microwave oven, got the wood real hot, and then I wiped it on, and it did a really good job as well. Um, again, no cracks or checks, so that looks real good. Does really good, and uh, it kind of proved the point of uh, coming back and trying it again. It wasn't just a fluke, it did work. 
So that led me down this path. I went to Hobby Lobby and I got some of these little uh, beeswax pieces here. And I have to say, I heated it up in the microwave oven in a little tiny can and I poured it on and then it just did not want to go over very well. Um, it was just kind of hard to spread and I thought it would work a lot better, but just wanted to kind of run off of it. So it's why it doesn't look that great. Although it did an excellent job on protecting it it uh, no cracking or checking just it doesn't look that pretty so I came back and I used a heat gun I used some of these and I just kind of put some on here and used a heat gun and kind of pushed it around with a brush and this did a really good job it left me a really nice finish again no cracks or checks on that and uh, I definitely enjoy the heat gun so highly advise that I did it again one more time just to make sure and uh, that one came out really nice this kind of leaves it with a glossy finish feels real good real good to the touch the next thing you can do, and this one also works, is the Tight Bond Original Glue. Now, why the Tight Bond Original versus like Tight Bond 2? Well, the Tight Bond 2 typically leaves the glue a little bit yellow. This one actually dries clear. So, as you can see here, it looks really good. No cracks or checks. And uh, the only thing is, is this one leaves it a little bit rough. So you kind of have a rough surface versus the beeswax where it kind of left it a little bit softer. And all these are Tight Bond as well and they all look great so you can always come back and sand those off if you wish but uh, overall it does a really good job um, I used a silicone brush to apply that and uh, it did a really nice job I also did a control and just to mess with your heads this control absolutely nothing on it so far it hasn't cracked but I have a feeling over time it's gonna check because um, over time this moisture is gonna come out of this a little too fast where on these it's it's being slowed down and having to go through the bark so um, why why do all this well my goal was is to do something like this and this is uh, this was cut on my laser and uh, I would like to do you know either CNC or laser cut these things and make them look neat now this is uh, a spar urethane I used on it and this is the two-month one there's the minwax spar urethane that I used the bad part is is it has uh, cracked and checked it was it was something I did at the very beginning and then wipe spar urethane on it but it didn't hold up and what's crazy is you can't tell now but this is a huge crack that goes all the way to the side of that cup and uh, I'll show a picture here but that actually split wide open it's been inside it's the only one that's hung out inside for the last two months and it cracked all the way open and then closed all the way back up which is pretty impressive so anyway that is uh, wood cookies and what I've learned so far and obviously over time these could go ahead and check and crack but I have a feeling they probably won't and the only reason I say that is is uh, going back to the one here at uh, two months old, we have no cracking or checking. It really seems to be doing an excellent job on protecting all that. So I have a feeling that these are all going to do the same thing. So we'll take them inside and I'll check back with you in another video down the road. But if you guys are wanting to get into this, there's a good way that you can get started. My thoughts, the type on original wood glue was simple to spread with a silicone brush or roller but it's somewhat messy trying to get both sides painted at the same time. But at $3.98, it performs just as well as wax. The downside was it left a semi-rough sandpaper texture. My dad puts Type On 2 on logs to preserve them from cracking and giving them more time to turn at a later date. The yellow color on the Type On 2 doesn't bother him as it's removed in the turning process. When it came to the beeswax, the price was double the price of the glue. But in order to get the discount, go to the Hobby Lobby's website and present the 40% off coupon off their website on your phone at checkout. Then the amount should be around $9 with tax. That amount should last you a lifetime as I found it doesn't take much to cover one piece. It was pretty easy to melt the wax with a heat gun or hair dryer. You can spread it with a foam brush and it makes quick work of tackling both sides. Beeswax provided the best feel to the wood. It left it with a nice semi-slick feel, but not slimy or rubbing off on your hand. In the end, I would have to vote Beeswax as the winner between the two, as it was easier to apply, quicker to dry, and softer to the touch. I think I threw up my back on that one. <laughs> Hurt a little bit. Woo! What'd you want, cookie?